What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here with some more StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm beta commentary. Today's game is going to be between Darth Caesar and White Raw. This is a Terran versus Protoss matchup. We are here on the map, Akalon Wastes. Uh, really excited here. This is going to be the first commentary of the beta that I'm doing with White Raw. Uh, White Raw, one of my favorite Protoss players. Lots of fun to commentate. And with that said, big shout out to Eon Shikino. He is another YouTube commentator who actually gave me a couple of White Raw replays. I have to tell you, I've been having a really hard time getting a hold of Heart of the Swarm uh, Pro replays just because the sites that I typically go to to get my replays to do commentary for, they've been posting diddly squat when it comes to a Heart of the Swarm replays. I don't know why they haven't been throwing anything up, but yeah, it's been a little tough for me to get a hold of some uh, professional level replays because I don't really know any of the pro players personally. I mean, as much as I love doing StarCraft II commentary, I'm not much in the scene. I still enjoy doing it though, so I'm still going to continue to do it. But yeah, it makes it kind of hard in situations like this to get a hold of replays because I, I can't call up any of these guys and ask them for a favor, <laughs> throw me some replays to commentate. But yeah, I guess if you're a pro player and you just so happen to be listening to this, throw me some replays. I will do commentary for it. All right, I'm going to start this game off just by taking a look around Akalon Waste. Uh, this is a new map coming with the beta, so a lot of you probably don't know about it. Start off by taking a look at the main here, uh, looking at Darth Caesar's perspective. A little bit of space there on the right-hand side to pay attention to. Then, of course, we've got the ramp leading right down over here into the natural expansion. A natural expansion loops around a little bit over here. We've got a fairly wide ramp leading into that, and then some destructible rocks over on this side leading into a third. Also very interesting here are the collapsible rock tower. Uh, now, the way this works is that if you destroy it, rocks will drop down right here. And then there's an impenetrable area that you can't walk by beneath it. It's like a slab of rock. Plus, you'd have to destroy this walk rock to get through. So it kind of creates a little bit of a wall off there. And this is something that, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of here in Heart of the Swarm. It's pretty interesting. We'll have to see how it comes into play and how often players actually decide to utilize it. White Raw scouting into the main base now of Darth Caesar. He gets blocked in as Darth Caesar finishes the wall off, comes out with his first Marine, and takes out the worker. White Raw doing what he can to get a little bit of damage down on that Marine as well. Looks like he got one shot off in total. SCV scout now moving out for Darth Caesar. He's a bit injured. Uh, looks like the probe of White Raw that was scouting out did manage to get a few shots off on him. And he's now just going to move into the main of White Raw and scouting uh, fairly normal stuff. Just one gas going. Cybercore now finished. And uh, with that, looks like we'll be seeing a Stalker come through immediately. Also a Zealot making its way across the map. Let's see if he's going to try to uh, harass a little bit or if he's just going to be grabbing a tower or two. Speaking of that, let's continue to look around the map. So we took a look at this third over here. Uh, now if you continue up here just above the natural expansion, you can see another expansion over in this position. Very wide opening into that and no other escape there. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how players deal with that. Also, we've got an expansion continuing north here up into this spot. Now to get into it, you've got to take a ramp from this expansion up over here. And that's going to bring you right on over into this spot up in the high ground. We also have two Zelnaga Towers on either side here. Uh, two over there and then of course two over here as it is mirrored a uh, zealot out front of darth caesar's main base and we do have the stalker now making its way too so it looks like white raw is going to be doing a bit of harass here white raw also opening up with the mothership core which we'll take a look at as soon as that does finish researching and if no other action is going on we're going to be seeing here warhounds here from mr darth caesar a uh, very strong in this matchup again it's anti-mechanical unit uh, so works quite well against protoss especially these poor stalkers he's gonna be taking a lot of damage here oh god so close and he's done with that extra attack there from the Haywire missile. The Warhound is so strong in this matchup. I've been seeing a lot of Protoss players just be going so immortal heavy just to deal with that. And we'll see if uh, White Raw tries to do the same now. He is just coming out with two gateways right now, so not at the moment. And here it is, the Mothership Core. Now, I've got a bit of harass coming out from Darth Caesar. He's making his way across the map with that first Warhound and a few Marines. Let's take a look at the Mothership Core. i got a few abilities. There is Energize, Purify, and Mass Recall. Energize recharges the energy of target unit or structure to maximum. Purify allows the uh, Mothership Core to do some damage and basically turns it into a offensive unit for a short duration total of 45 seconds and then there's mass recall which allows you to of course mass recall units to the location of the mothership core a uh, mothership core make it for a nice early game defensive unit as you can see here uh, goes ahead and activates that purify ability now what we're going to see dark caesar do is just walk right by it the mothership core very slow it's going to take him forever to actually catch up to these units. We're going to see a few more Stalkers get warped in here as the Warhound and Marine continue to do some damage. Also got a Zealot coming through. 
wore out so strong. Oh, takes out another Stalker. Oh, gosh. Now it's finally going to get dropped here. White Raw able to take it out, but there you go. Pretty interesting indeed. And at the same time, we have a Warhound down over here doing a little bit of damage to this expansion. Uh, killing off some workers and all of that. And this harass just so effective. This early game, strong harass from the Warhounds. And just look at how quickly these Warhounds demolish the Stalkers. It is unreal. They have such a hard time. And the other thing, too, is their speed. Look at that. Look at their speed. They're so fast. Get an exact number here. <laughs> uh, weapon speed right there. The movement speed is 2.81. Now we'll take a look over here. We got the Zealot with a 2.25 movement speed. And we've got the Stalker here with the 2.95 movement speed. But at 2.81, it's it's a pretty quick unit. And it's, again, it's got that Haywire missile, which makes the Stalker a very susceptible target to it. There we go. Mothership Core activates the offensive ability again with the Purify. Allowing him to defend a little bit better. There's still so many Warhounds doing so much damage in the early game. I'm going to take a quick look, though, because obviously he's losing these Warhounds, and that means he's losing quite a bit of resources with it. So I just want to take a quick look and uh, see how things totaled out here. The just relentless assault early on here from Mr. Darth Caesar. Now, let's start off by taking a look at the worker kills. Darth Caesar has killed off 18 workers. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely absurd. He has killed off 18 workers just with this Warhound and a few Marine harass early on. And in terms of resources lost, White Raw is tremendously behind at this point. Look at that, 2450 resources lost as opposed to 1150. That early Warhound harassed 18. 18? You know, I knew he killed a lot, but I was thinking more in the vicinity of 8 to 10. He killed off 18 workers in that early game Warhound harass, and all the while able to get up an expansion and get it nice and saturated. Let's take a look at the number of uh, workers in play for both players. 39 for Darth Caesar. With all of that harass and all of that aggression, he was still able to get out so many SCVs. Unbelievable here, and it's not going to stop. He's going to keep it up. Moving forward with a few Hellions. See if he decides to do a trance for those, or if he's just going to keep them in Hellion mode. Now, there's not a lot of Zealots, but obviously in battle mode, they are a bit more durable, so definitely something to consider. Just it. <laughs> uh, Warhounds, you kill me into the TVP matchup. It is just ridiculous. Now, let's see what else he's got going on. Looks like he is going to be sticking mech heavy. He is also coming out with the starport here to try to get some anti-air, most likely. I guess he could try to go for a couple drop ships to do a little bit of a Hellion Harass dropping in the main. A Mothership Core is going to sit out here just waiting to activate its Purify to do some, uh, do a little bit of frontal defense there. We have a Robotic Spade coming out, so it looks like we will be seeing some Colossus from White Raw. That should be pretty interesting to see how well the Warhound is going to do against that. Again, the beta is new to everyone, myself included, so we're still kind of learning how things work out and how these various matchups are going to work out with these new units. Also keep in mind that further balancing is likely to come. Uh, I feel like the Warhound must be getting some sort of a nerf. They just seem <clears throat> a bit too strong at this point. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is just, you know, maybe Protoss players just don't know how to deal with them properly yet. Uh, I just don't see how they can really deal with that early harass that we saw Darth Caesar do this game. All right, so we do have some Colossus play coming out here for White Raw. Uh, he is coming out with that first Colossus. Also, that Thermal Lance research is coming through. More Warhounds and Hellions. And then he is also transitioning into Vikings. Also just saw a few of the Widow Mines. So it looks like we'll be seeing a couple of those. Let's see what uh, Darth Caesar decides to do with that. In terms of upgrades right now, let's take a look. He's got nothing finished, but Weapons Level 1 is coming out. Forward scan just to spot what, what, what White Raw has. And also, Darth Caesar being so aggressive and just sitting outside of White Raw's natural expansion has been able to get up a third as well. So that's going to give him a fairly strong economic advantage. Your forces are under attack. What was that? Oh, he just lost a uh, Widow Mine. That's what that was. Because we do have the Observer over here. And uh, here we go. Vikings moving forward to try to take out that Mothership Core. We're going to have those Stalkers trying to push that back. Mothership Core is so slow. So, so very slow. He's got to be really careful about that, making sure he defends that. So you definitely don't want to lose it. It's just so useful, especially if you can have it sit up and accumulate some energy to be able to do things like Energized or like Mass Recall. Hellion's moving on over to scout this position. I'm not doing anything over there at the moment, though. I guess he wanted to see if White Raw attempted to come out with an expansion. Obviously, the most likely expansion position would be right over here. And, uh, is he going to be doing that right now? Yeah, it looks like he may be. He's preparing to destroy these rocks and uh, move down into that position. 
in just a moment. Widow mines all over the place. Dark Caesar is all about these widow mines right now. Taking a look at the total units. Eight widow mines in play. We got ten warhounds, five Vikings, six Hellions, and a few Marines. Vikings, of course, going to be very important uh, because there is no anti air in this makeup now. You could imagine a switch to something like Void Rays. Could be okay, you know? Neither the Warhounds or the Hellions can hit that. Obviously, we could see a transition to Thors to try to deal with those Warhounds, but I think Vikings are. Try to deal with those Void Rays, but Vikings are definitely a much better, much better response. Now, we do have all these Widow Mines right here. White Raw has scouted that out, though. He is aware of that. He does see that with his Observer. White Raw now just trying to get up that third. At the same time, we've got a fourth building over here for Darth Caesar. So preparing to expand. No, he's got a fourth being laid down already. Darth Caesar just containing White Raw and expanding behind all of this as he continues to reinforce here with those Widow Mines, with these Warhounds. And this is the type of situation that you really don't see that much in Wings of Liberty, but obviously it's going to be taking place uh, here in the beta as, as players just learn to deal with things, just learning to deal with the new units and the new compositions and everything like that. It can be very hard for Dark Caesar push into this position with this collapsible rock tower here. Uh, he's just going to be funneled into that spot, and that's going to make for some nice damage for that Colossus army. But Dark Caesar just continuing to dance around. Uh, White Raw really not having a response at all. He hasn't moved out to drop. He hasn't even been scouting these expansions. He's just been sitting here in a contain, which is quite unfortunate for him. Warhounds, gotta be careful. Oh, don't worry, he's crazy fast, so he can just push back in a matter of seconds. Mass Viking Army moves forward to try to deal with those Colossus. <laughs> we do have a few of those Widow Mines. I actually took out the Mothership Core. Yes, they do damage air units. It is pretty nuts. And at the same time, Hellions moving into the expansion, roasting workers. Now up to 32 worker kills. I think he was at 18 before, so we've got quite a few more worker kills during that. As White Raw was preparing to deal with this push at the third. Dark Caesar was able to sneak in quite a bit and do significant damage over here at the natural. At the same time, fourth now up. Hasn't saturated that yet. Also has another command center. Should be turning that into an orbital shortly. Let's take a look at upgrades. He is O2 with uh, armor 1 and weapons 3 coming out for his mechanical units. And White Ross sitting here 1-1, one, one, trying to come out with 2-2. Two, two. Also trying to come out with that blink research. He's just having a tough time, man. And, you know, we're not seeing hardly any immortals. We've got this one immortal right here from White Raw, but he's trying the Colossus thing. I've seen... Fairly decent success with the mortals. Maybe White Rod knows something I don't, though. In fact, I'm fairly sure he does because he's a he's a pro player, and I'm just some guy who does commentary. Look at this micro, though, from the Warhounds again, taking advantage of the uh, of the speed of that unit, and then also trying to buy himself time to get that cooldown refreshed on the Haywire missiles to allow him to just obliterate those mechanical units. And continues to expand, continues to take an economic lead. We'll take a quick look here at the income. Death Caesar, Dark Caesar, whatever his name is, doesn't matter. He's rolling over White Raw right now. And White Raw calls the GG crazy game. We saw such strong early aggression from Darth Caesar. And then he just moved directly into a contain. And White Raw had a tough time responding. Now, this is the type of thing I don't expect White Raw to always be in this situation in TVP. Uh, also, this is a somewhat small map, so it's uh, pretty easy for Darth Caesar to get out really quick there with his Warhounds. But over time, as people learn about the units and learn about the compositions, uh, we, we should expect to see these types of contains much less often. But still, pretty, pretty crazy game there, and a good job by Darth Caesar. Normally, I try to wrap up these videos with one of the large battles in the game, but really, I think that this was one of the key moments. Uh, Darth Caesar's early aggression with the Warhound just proving to be so strong. Uh, this is the type of thing that may result in a Warhound nerf because White Raw just... I, I mean, yes, he did expand, so maybe if he hadn't expanded and worked a little bit off of one base a little while longer, then he would have been better off, but just, man, this is such crazy strong early aggression. That really also hurt that he didn't place down a force field there with that initial sentry. I suppose that's something that I missed uh, when we first saw it there. But still, this is just unreal. The number of workers that Darth Caesar was able to kill in this first push is craziness. And the effectiveness of the Warhound, also craziness. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this commentary. Stay tuned in the future for more Heart of the Swarm beta coverage right here on the channel. Thanks again, guys. Keep watching and keep owning.